What's up, guys? Bob Guy here playing some cube. We are up a, a match. We're one match, one match win, zero match losses. Playing some sweet mono reds. One of the easier decks to draft and play because you just see anything that has red on it and you just pull it over to your pull it over to your pile. We ended up getting the I think the cards that I consider the most key in mono red, which are Sulfuric Vortex and Shrine to Burning Rage. I thought about like joking there and being like. Ugh, well, this one's a little rough. Got a little early disruption and hazard could be good. I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna mulligan it. This is more reasonable but also pretty bad. Ugh. I mean Shrine Turn 2 feels good at least. I wish Exquisite Firecraft wasn't a sorcery. I think I bought him Fire Blast here. Hopefully our opponent isn't too fast and doesn't have too many shenanigans going on. Turn one thought sees duress. Well, equally bad. Take shrine. Well, this is the second game. I'm glad we didn't keep that first hand because well, I guess turn one duress wouldn't have gotten our best thing anyway. But uh, well, ancient tomb's not bad. Land go. I'm gonna use that as a surprise turn. For the turn I can play, Glowbringer probably. Inside and tapped, probably smart. Well, I might go Siege Gang next instead. I guess I could have just Exquisite Firecrafted at face. That actually might have been better, especially because I'm using my mana the next couple turns. Yeah, I probably should have done that. Uh, oh well, whatever. Is fine. I was trying to be a little conservative with it. Still might be the right play. It's just hard to tell. Land. Breaks it, goes to 19. He has Hypnotic Spectre. All right. Well, that we can kill. I will play this. Cast Glorybringer. Attack and exert. Yep. Get in for four. Sandel. I feel like I played against this guy in the last one I did. I think I might have. Well, it's got he's playing a bunch of stuff. Four mana, Jace. Alright, well I could kill Jace with this. Probably not worth it. Alright, you can get lands or you can get preordain. I get Zergo Bell Striker. Alright, pass turn. I mean, maybe he has a sweeper. If he had a sweeper, it would be pretty good. If he doesn't have a sweeper, I feel pretty good about this game. So it's on a preordain. Please, no sweeper. I will totally toss these goblins at things. One, two, three, four, five, six. I could literally toss all three. I can do six damage to something. Uh, do I just have lethal next turn? 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I think I do if he doesn't have anything. Um, I guess. Counter spell down here. 1, 2, 3, 4. Something like that. I think he's dead on board, so I just don't think the counter spell matters that much. He also can't currently play it with the mana he has. Unless he plays a blue mana source. 
it's kind of like I love this guy and it's like kind of he has like a mini factor fiction basically it's pretty sweet pretty pretty sweet I like it a lot opponent taking a long time to choose I'm not sure if it matters or not for Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, land. So wait, what pile did he take? He took Counterspell and Torrential Gear. Oh, got it. So he has Counterspell up. He's got to play something here, right? He's got to play like Kill Spell, maybe. Tassiger, sure. I think that means I can't kill him this turn, probably. He has Counterspell up now, so if I if I went for Fiery Confluence, he could... So I think I attack all. Don't want to attack all, I want to exert with this one. Attack and exert. Attack, attack, attack. Okay. I do have a stop on my own thing, yep. So I do this. Okay. How low does this take? I'm going to be able to do four damage at instant speed. Takes him to five. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think I, let, I, think I pass turn here. Ashiok, sure. Sure, that's fine. You got it. He gives up. He just did that too. Look at a couple cards from my deck. Alright. Sweet. Got there. Um Don't think I change anything here. Felt pretty good. What did he even do over the course of that game? Pyridane, Jace. A lot of dirtling. Not as much punch as me. I think I'm pretty much running it back. If Mono Red is my first 3-0 deck, I'm going to feel a little bit ashamed, but that's that's fine. I do enjoy playing Mono Red, but it doesn't feel like... Man, this feels really good if I get another land. I don't know if I can keep the one lander. Maybe it's fine. It is one of my better one drops. It's just if I don't get a land in the next two draw steps, I'm pretty toast. And I do have a five drop here. I think it's a mulligan. I, th I think it has to be a mulligan. It feels, ba feels bad because it feels like a reasonably good hand other than just the one land. But this is a little bit better. Let's keep. I think I'm going to bottom that. We don't have anything that uses it yet, so. Don't know if I want to turn one with Bolt. Apparently it depends if he does anything. He didn't. Well, I got to land anyway. Let's not. I want to use it to pump up Shrine if I can, and I have so little stuff going on that I'm not that worried about. Well, he could have counter spell here. Well, that incentivizes me to play my stuff out too, so I'm just gonna shame this out. If he counter spells it, that's fine. Spell pierce, yeah, that's fine too.
We ordain. Yep. This one is not looking nearly as good for me. Uh, it's possible I should have kept that first one. I guess he's down to four cards in hand too, so it's not like he has a ton of stuff. But yeah, obviously, if you're the burn deck and it's going into turn, you're you're going onto your turn three and you've done zero damage to him. Doesn't doesn't feel too good. Duress. All right. Can't take Hazaret. That helps empty my hand, so it's actually not the worst for me here. All right, seems good. Well, I'm going to suspend it in case he plays a creature I want to kill, because I just don't think it's going to matter whether I play it now or next turn. Cast here, you got it. Please don't happen to have counter spell. He doesn't. All right. Can't attack or block. So you need to have one. Okay. So I gotta wait till next turn. So maybe that wasn't even the right play. I mean, next turn I, I'm almost hundred percent sure I can attack with her. He does nothing. Stuck at three mana. That kind of sucks for him. Well, this doesn't have a target. That kind of sucks, but I can can cast it or dash it. I'm just going to cast it. Mortars can always be discarded if I want. This is like instant speed, right? Three mana, instant speed, yep. And step. Does he have, like, uh, what's it called? Thirst for Knowledge, maybe? I could have a kill spell on Zergo. That won't work here because this is indestructible. He ends up with another Duress type effect. I feel pretty good because I can always pitch things here. We got to four. Wrath of God would be... No, actually, Wrath of God wouldn't even do anything. Okay. All right. Well, on the bright side, I get to get that back. All right. I don't think I play land here because I can always discard it to deal two. Takes him to five. He's got something. Skin render, sure. Don't think that does anything actually. It's only three, right? Sure. You got it. Yep, he sees it. I was like, I just do that again. Swing with both. You can't block both. You're going to die. Sweet. We won match two. Mono Red getting it done. 2-0 oh so far. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Sorry I was a little quiet there. I feel like I've been quiet this whole sequence with Mono Red. And Mono Red should be the exciting one. Now you're going to be mad because I'm virtually shouting at the end of the video when I was just like, I was whispering like this while it was going on. Something I have to work on. Hey guys, Bobgar here. I just really wanted to quickly say, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you enjoy my content in general and would like to see more of it, subscribe. I'll be coming out with more content in the future. And please leave me comments and let me know what I'm doing right, what I'm doing wrong, both in terms of production and in terms of my play and my deck building and all that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I will see you guys next time.